Have you ever imagined being stranded on an island with no one to talk to for 300 days? What would you do to survive? How would you maintain your sanity? These are the questions that Xavier Rossett had to face when he found himself alone on a remote island. With limited resources, he had to rely on his wit and determination to make it through each day. Through his journey, he discovered the power of human resilience and the importance of never giving up. Find out what happened to Xavier Rossett in his story of survival, spending 300 days alone on an island. Xavier's 300 days solo survival challenge on a remote Pacific island. Xavier Rossett embarked on a solitary journey, spending 300 days in the remote island of Tofua on the Pacific. He was armed with only a machete and a Swiss army knife, facing the challenge of isolation from civilization and living with an active volcano. It was a self-imposed test of survival and determination for Xavier. Embarking on a journey to Tafua. Swiss adventurer Xavier Rossett had a passion for documenting his expeditions through filmmaking. In 2008, he embarked on a journey to Tofua, a small and remote volcanic island located in the Tonga Archipelago. The island, measuring only 62 square kilometers, has a rich history despite its small size. Tofua is famous for being the location of the Mutiny of the Bounty event, which took place 56 kilometers away in 1789. To capture his journey to Tofua, Xavier brought with him minimal supplies, including a machete and a Swiss army knife for protection, a solar panel to charge his camera equipment, medicine, and a satellite phone in case of an emergency. Despite being well prepared, Xavier's trip to Tofua was not without danger. Unfortunately, when a crewman named John Norton arrived on the island, he was met with hostility from the natives and was stoned to death. History of Tafua Tafua played a significant role in 1949 by serving as a refuge for the 23 survivors of the SS Phoebe A. Hearst, a Liberty ship that was attacked by a Japanese submarine. The incident took place on April 30th, and as a result, the crew had to rely on shellfish and coconuts for sustenance until their rescue by the U.S. Navy in May. During their stay on Tofua, the survivors were provided with shelter and necessities for a month, making it a significant moment in the island's history. The island had been abandoned for some time, with its last residents forced to flee due to the eruption of the volcano. Although there are still structures present on the island, Rosette chose to construct his own shelter, made from palms he found rather than utilize the existing buildings. 300 days alone with only two human encounters. For 300 days, Ross had only encountered other humans twice. On one of these occasions, a Tongan man showed up at his campsite. He and a friend visited Tafua annually to grow cassava, which they utilized to make their bitter beverage. Sadly, his friend had injured his finger with a machete, the Tongan man knew about Rossett's solo journey and hoped that he may have a medical kit and could offer assistance. As a token of gratitude, they presented Rossett with a young dog to keep him company and alleviate his solitude. The Tongan man believed the dog would bring joy to Rossett's life. They also gifted him with watermelon and small potato seeds to plant. On another occasion, a group of Belgian sailors took a break from their sailing journey to visit Tufua Island. They aimed to experience the thrill of hiking up the island's active volcano and explore the underwater beauty of its reef through snorkeling. As a small token of appreciation, they brought along some beer and cola, offering a refreshing change from the limited options of coconut water they had been drinking for an extended period. Xavier's New Friend After planting a vegetable garden at a higher elevation on a mountainside where the soil was rich and fertile, he was determined to find a new source of food. Bored with his usual diet of coconut and fish, he sought to add some variety to his meals. So he set his sights on capturing a wild pig. He found a watering spot that he believed the pigs would visit and dug a pit along their path. To conceal the trap, he covered it with leaves, making it almost invisible. Later, when he returned to check his trap, he was elated to find that it had worked and he had captured a piglet about three weeks old. Not wanting to release the young pig back into the wild where it may struggle to find its mother again, he decided to take it back to his camp and raise it himself. The piglet quickly became another companion and stayed with him for several months. It was amazing at how attached he became to the piglet and how much joy it brought into his life. 
The piglet provided not only a source of food, but also a new companion and a new experience in his life. He cherished every moment he spent with his new friend and was grateful for the unexpected turn of events that led to this piglet's arrival in his life. Xavier's Small Shark Catch, Cooked to Perfection On one exciting adventure, Xavier was able to catch a small shark, which was a delightful change from the usual small fish he was used to catching. He knew that cooking this shark would be a challenge, and he decided to try a new cooking method. He chopped up the shark and wrapped it in palm leaves, then placed the wrapped shark on hot coals he had made in a dugout pit. He then buried the entire dugout pit with the wrapped shark and left it to cook overnight. This unique cooking method not only made the shark tender and juicy, but it also added a smoky flavor that was absolutely delicious. Xavier was proud of his catch and the unique way he was able to prepare it. Surviving on a remote island with the help of a phone. During the adventure, Xavier had to make several phone calls for various reasons. Twice he sought medical advice for injuries that had become infected. On Christmas Day, he left a message for his parents. The experience was a roller coaster of emotions, with prolonged feelings of isolation punctuated by occasional triumphs. It also highlighted the impact of human activities on a remote island, with garbage that had traveled for thousands of kilometers littering the shore. A journey of socialization and rich cuisine. During the last fortnight, Xavier was joined by his friend who came to support him in adjusting to socializing and eating lavish cuisine once more. This experience highlights a person's resilience and according to Xavier Rossett, it showcases the relationship between being alone and being lonely. That concludes Xavier Rossett's 300 Days Alone on an Island Journey. We hope you had a great time watching this adventure just like he did. Show your appreciation by giving the video a thumbs up and leaving a comment below. Your feedback means a lot to us. Keep an eye out for more exciting stories and experiences. Thanks for tuning in.